So welcome to the Illustrator Challenge. We are going to learn how to use Illustrator to make a Christmas card, such as the one that you're seeing right now. So how does this work? First of all, I'm in Illustrator right here. I've opened it up and I'm going to make a new document. New, uh, I'm getting a lot of different options. I want an A4 uh, option. If you can't find it, you go into print. Templates A4. I'm going to come here. I'm going to change this to centimeters because I think it's easier to see. So I'm going to open up a new document in centimeters and I want it landscape format create. Here we go. New document. I know it's A4. It's A4 size and it's landscape. Perfect. Next thing I want to do is I want to split it into two parts so I can fold it up. <clears throat> Uh, so the way that I'm going to do that is that I'm going to draw, oh, first things first, I want to make sure I'm in the essentials layout. Um, if you can't find the essentials layout, you're going to go to window, workspace, essential, oops, essentials, not automation, essentials. There's lots of different ways of uh, setting up your Illustrator workspace, but for this tutorial, I'm going to use Essentials. So if you want to follow along, set to Essentials. So your workspace will look like mine. Uh, so first things first, I'm going to draw a rectangle and I'm going to come over here into the toolbar, click and hold, get the rectangle tool, and I'm going to draw a little bit by eye. I want something that's roughly half of this. Um, I can't see very well, so I'm going to go to View, Rulers, Show Rulers. Okay, so now I've got my ruler set up. I can see roughly the sizing of my format. And um, it's almost 30 centimeters, so if I want to do something that's about half, it's under 15. I'm going to aim for 14. I'm going to aim to go from 1 to 14. And I'm going to, I'm just clicking and dragging. Here we go. Oops, I said under 15, something like this. Good. And then I let go, and here's my rectangle. Um, now, let's, I'm going to click on my selection tool right here. Uh, that allows me to click on things and click out of things. This looks pretty good. I'm going to... Um, copy and paste it and I'm going to do this um, with the shortcut which is that when I have the selection tool turned on I'm going to hit option on my Mac it's probably alt on your PC or something like that until you can see my arrows become this black and white arrow which means that as long as I'm holding it down if I click and drag I'm actually making a copy rather than just moving and if I hold shift as I'm doing this you can see that it um, goes in a straight line. It's aligned. So that looks kind of good. I'm going to let go about here. I'm doing this all by eye. Now I want to select both so that I can align them properly. So um, I'm clicking. I've got this one selected. And I'm going to click Shift, click this. I've got both selected now. Um, and I'm going to align them. So here I have my align tools. I'm going to click this to make sure they're both centered and this. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, I want to center them against my uh, background here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group them so that they are now one object. And I'm going to do that by going to Object, Group. Now the two rectangles together are an object. And now if I horizontally align on the center. I'm going to line up the middle of this new object, which is the two rectangles, right here with the middle of my um, template, my workspace, my artboard. That's what it's called, an artboard. Okay, next up. So let's click. Here we go. I've got my card layout um, looking good, except I think that these lines are a little bit thick. I'd like them to be less visible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit them. Um, I'm going to have to double click in now because I've made a group. So if I want to edit something in the group, I have to double click 
to get into the group. And you can see here, it tells me I'm in the group. Uh, if I want to come out of the group, click somewhere else. Yeah, double click. So edit, click on this object, double click. Okay, now click on this object. And you can see that here I have something called fill and stroke. Um, stroke means the outline. Fill means the color inside. So stroke black, that's fine. But one point is a little bit too big. Going to change this to 0.25. And you see that looks a lot nicer. Same thing here. Stroke 0.25. And that's fine. So now I don't need to do anything more with this. I think this looks good. There's my format. Next up, uh, the Christmas tree. So to make the Christmas tree, I'm going to first draw a triangle. So I'm going to click on my rectangle tool. I'm going to go to polygon tool. I'm going to draw a polygon with three corners. Yeah, so here you go. I'm going to click here. Um, I'm just clicking once, and it's bringing up this menu instead of drawing it. Um, it's bringing up this menu. Sides three, that's what I want. Um, so that's good. Radius, uh, I don't really care right now because I'm going to change that later anyway. So, okay, here we go. So I just drew a polygon. can also draw it by clicking and dragging, but um, undo, undo, click, brings up the contextual menu. I'm checking that it's three sides, so it's a triangle. Don't care about the radius, click OK. And here's my uh, first triangle. Um, now, I think it looks a little bit thin. I want it to be wider, so I'm clicking on the selection tool so that I can uh, pull it until it's like kind of a nicer size. Shrink it a little bit this way. That looks pretty good. Um, so this is going to be the top of my um, Christmas tree right here. Now I want the edges to curl curve in. So to do that, um, I have to go here to my pen tool, and I have to go to the one that looks like this anchor point tool. And what that means is that when I click on one of the sides, I can start to um, change from a straight line to a curve. So I'm going to do the left side first. Let me do this one at a time. Um, pull this handle until uh, this I get this shape. And then I'm going to come to the other handle and pull it until it's like roughly symmetrical. That'll do something like this. Now, if I click somewhere else, here's the top of my Christmas tree. Great. And now, so that's this. And I'm going to make one, two, three, four, five copies. So one, again, remember what I said, I'm on selection. Click this, click Alt. So I'm not just moving, but making a copy. And I drag them down. Uh, Oops, I want them to stay aligned, so I'm holding shift. Whoops, come on. Click, copy, something like this. This looks pretty good. Okay, that looks pretty good, roughly. Um, but I want the bottom to be wider than the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click each of these, one in turn, and just make it slightly smaller every time. A little bit more, a little bit more, and even a bit more. There you go, something like this, let's say. Uh, now I'm going to click, I'm going to align all of these because now they're like off center. Uh, so I'm clicking all of my objects and align. There we go. Yep, that'll do for now. Now I'm going to make all of these into one object, not by grouping them, but by actually um, assembling them into a new shape. So with all of my objects selected, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come down here to my Pathfinder tool that allows me to uh, either cut one shape out of another shape or assemble shapes together. And I'm going to click on this one, click to unite which turns all of my triangles into a single shape. Good. And now I'm going to change the color. 
Uh, so stroke, I don't really want a stroke. I'm going to do none. But fill, I want it to be green. So I'm going to click something like that. Yeah. So what I did is I clicked this color. There's lots of different ways of changing color, but here's how I'm doing it right now. Click on this, pulls up this menu, and you see just by hovering over this bottom part, I have more control over my color. There we go. Whoops. Undo. I think that forest green was better. No. How can I not undo? Here we go. There's the top of my Christmas tree. Now let's make the base. Uh, so this time I'm going to make a rectangle. I'm going to make it something like that. Again, I'm not too worried about centering because I'll do that later. Um, that looks pretty good, except I want the bottom to be rounded this time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use my anchor point tool again. But first I'm going to zoom in so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm zooming in by using uh, Command Plus on a Mac. Um, uh, maybe Control Plus on your PC. I don't know. I'll look into that later. Command Plus so that I can see what I'm doing. And here again with my Anchor Point tool, click and let's see what I can do. I want to keep this side quite even. Um, whoops. Again, there's different ways of doing it, but this is how I'm doing it right now. I'm going to drag that until it's roughly symmetrical. There we go. That'll do for now. And that's looking better. And I want this to be brown. So click on the fill. Click mm, something like a mm, something like that. Mm, not really getting the control that I want, so I'm gonna double click. What happens if I click here? No, that doesn't help. Let's go over here. Double click in here. Yeah, I prefer to use this one. So I can also access the color from this side. And that brings this other color picker that I find a little bit easier to use. I'm going to go for this. That's fine. Good. Zoom out. Uh, Command minus in my case. So I can see the whole thing. It's looking good, except I want this green bit to be in the front and this to be in the back. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on the green object. And I'm gonna change, I'm gonna change the arrangement of the object. So I go to object, arrange, bring forward. And it's actually bringing it, the last object that I made is always the one that's on top, which in this case is this brown trunk, but I can change the order of my layers by um, the way that I've just done it. I click my object and I bring it forward, object, arrange, bring forward until it's where I want it to be. There we go. Now this and this again align. There we go. So they're symmetrical. And here's my Christmas tree. Two more things I need to add. The decorations and the text. So let's start with the decorations. Um, I'm going to make some ellipses, some circles. There we go. Just click and drag one. Click and drag two and click and drag three somewhere over here, I'm making them different sizes, that's fine. And um, let's see, sorry, I don't want them to look up. let's go back here. Why is this, oh, the stroke is 0.25. I actually don't want a stroke on my trunk. I want it to be just flat brown, no, no borders. Green uh, treetop, I want to be flat green, no borders. But these decorative bubbles right here, um, I want it to have both a color and a decorative border. So first I'm gonna change the border. I'm going to uh, change this to, I'm gonna make it much thicker, seven points. And then I'm gonna change the stroke. So I click on stroke 
And you see here, I've got more uh, detail in terms of the options that I have for this feature, the stroke feature. I'm going to go to profiles and instead of uniform, I'm going to change that, uh, that one. Yeah, let's go for that one. That looks good. It's giving a little bit of a graphic effect to my object. Um, it's like using a different brush to make it to draw it. So that's fine. Let's do this one now. Whoops. Uh, so what did we say? Stroke seven points and profile. Let's try something else. Let's try this one. Yes. Nice. And this one, uh, seven points and let's go for something else again. This, no, this, Mm, that looks a bit weird. Let's just go for that one. That looks fine. It's looking a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more drawn. Now to change the color. So this one, stroke is fine. Black fill. I'm going to change the inside color to something like, yeah, let's try that. Actually, that looks pretty good. A yellow. Nice. Second one here, change the color to something a bit more like a light purple, maybe a lilac. Gray's looking a bit weird. Let's go. This, maybe we can make that better. Double click here. Can okay, move this out of my way. Let's try this. That'll do, that's fine. And then the third one, uh, let's double click my fill and go to, let's try and make it orangish. Let's try that. Again, I don't really like this color picker. I'm going to go back down here and change it to something a little bit more, a little bit warmer. That'll do. Okay, good. So I've got my three decorative bubbles. I'm going to move this one a little bit more here. I mean, here. I don't know, I could play with this for hours, but let's say it's pretty good for now. So the only thing I'm missing now is my text. Uh, Merry Christmas, I wanted to say. So here it's quite easy. I'm going to get, um, I'm going to come over here to my text tool, my type tool, and I'm going to click up here and I'm going to type Merry. Um, okay, so it's typed it in, but I don't really like the font. So I'm going to change the font. I'm going to come over here with this character and change to something else. Let's go to this one. That looks a bit funny. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's try this. <laughs> looks a bit, let's make it a bit gothic for now. Mary, I'm going to do this. Fine, that's what I want for now. Going to make it, uh, I'm going to move it over here. Mary, going to rotate it a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to change the color. I don't think black is nice. I'm going to change it to red. There we go. Mary, it's a bit small. Let's make it bigger. I could make it bigger here in the font. I'm going to do that. Or I could just resize it here. Let's resize it here, it's easier. Mary, and then I'm gonna copy this. Again, Alt um, or Option, click and drag, bring it down here so I keep the same font, and Christmas, exclamation point. And then here this, I'm gonna rotate in a different direction. There we go, there we go, whoops. Can we can play with this one very good. Okay, and there you have it. I've got um, my tree, my decorative baubles, my text, and my card. So that when I, I can either print this now. Uh, actually, if I'm going to print it, really all of this stuff. So let's click. 
on all of these and this. I'm going to make this into a group now. So I only have, I have one group containing all of my objects. Actually, I'm actually going to move it over to this side. Because if I print it, I can then fold it along this line. And then this is going to be the front. And this is going to be the back. And I can write inside. Um, there you have it. Last thing, I'm going to save my file. So file, save as. I'm going to make a new desktop folder, new folder, digital design. And I'm going to call it Chris, oops, Christmas card. Saving it as an AI file, which is the Illustrator file. And that's fine. I'm just going to click OK. But I'm also going to save it. Uh, I'm going to export it as a JPEG so that I could send it by email, for example. And somebody will be able to look at it without having to open up Illustrator. Save. Color mode, I'm going to pick RGB because it's better for screens. And click OK. There we go. 